Hello guys! Welcome to this video. This video is gonna be a little bit of a process because I will be bringing you guys along on making a knitting pattern. Like a little bit behind the scenes of a knitwear designer, I guess I can call myself. But yeah, I just thought that might be fun to see and that is a big part of my new routine, I guess. Like it's kind of like a new, a new thing in life that's unlocked. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but that's what it is. <laughs> I've had an idea for a sweater for a while now. Let me show you kind of the idea. If you follow me, you probably know this little beauty. But I kind of wanted it with long sleeves for fall and winter. I think that would be the cutest thing ever. And also, I know this is gonna be so annoying because it's not all of my followers who knit. Every time I wear this exact sweater, everyone is always commenting on where it's from and it's sold out. <laughs> but it's this big, okay, wait, let's see. It's this big uh, NAKD sweater. I can insert a photo because it doesn't look very nice when you hold it up like this. The idea is basically to kind of make this but with my own twist so it's not gonna be as big and oversized because I mean I already have that. More the fit of this and then with long sleeves. First step of this video is basically going to the yarn store to feel the yarn and I know it's cheaper online but I just really love and like to feel the quality and like feel how soft it is and if it's itchy and like, I don't know. There's just something about going to the yarn store. I do work from home, so it's nice to like go out and feel like you're doing work outside of your home. <laughs> Even though going to a yarn store isn't really work, but I mean, it's part of my work routine now. So like, I love this yarn, but I bought it in Norway. I tried to find it online, but I wasn't satisfied with the colors that it comes in. I mean, I love the one that, I love this color and the other colors were nice too, but not for the project that I wanna do. I guess I'll get into the colors and everything once we're at the yarn store. Let's go. back from the yarn store and I found the color. I went with the Drops Alpaca Silk, a little bit thinner than the yarn that I used for this one. So we're using two so that it's more thick and not like too see-through. But yeah, I chose this really nice green color and I'm obsessed with it. Now we just have to get started and figure out how many <sighs> How many stitches and you know the drill so um yeah i will i will get started with the whole knitting process let's knit <laughs> process of making a knitting pattern. I made it this far yesterday and also today. I just wanted to tell you guys, like talk a little bit about the whole process. So what I have been doing um, for the previous pattern and the one that I'm making now, I basically just start knitting and then I make a note on my phone and I just write down stitches and centimeters and all the like important stuff so that I remember when I have to make the actual pattern so that I don't have to go back and count and like so yeah this just makes the process a lot easier and also I just did a little story a little Instagram story asking for test knitters that are pros in English knitting patterns because this is something that has been a little bit difficult for me. I have only been doing Danish 
patterns myself so far. Like I've only bought Danish patterns myself. It's definitely um, hard to have to like learn a whole new language. Like so many new words and like... We basically just need to finish the sweater and then I guess I'll talk to you when I have a little update. Welcome to day three. We have now made it to the point where I am gonna try it on and see if I should continue and if the fit is like how I want it and stuff. So uh, yeah, I just got back from Pilates and I'm wearing uh, workout clothes, but I was too excited to not do it right now. So we're gonna do it now. <laughs> to all of my fellow knitters, if you don't have this thingy, I don't know what it's called, but I'll show you. So you basically put it on the tip of the needle and then you just transfer it. And then now it's on this one so that you can try it on. The fits. Oh, nice. Also, can we just talk about this color? It's honestly the best feeling ever and I can't explain it, but like, cause I just did something. I just like kind of was like, okay, we're gonna do this and then we're gonna try this and then it turns out good. I still have not yet tried to make almost a whole sweater and then did not working. So let's pray that that's never gonna happen. <laughs> But I am actually obsessed with this. Once this is not there anymore, it's gonna be more like movable. Well then, let's continue. <laughs> I managed to finish off the body and then I am almost done with the first sleeve. Yeah, we made it pretty far yesterday, but today I felt like I needed to get out of the house. I brought Zach to a cafe so we could have a little cozy time. We have now been working on this sweater for officially a week and I have made it to this fold part and I am already very much in a crisis about what the f you call it. I don't even know what it's called in Danish so maybe I'll just find my own word for it or something. Oh my god, something happened last night. And I should be crying because it is tragic. My TikTok got hacked. Like I just got locked out and then I could not get in. I might have to start over and I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> but this has nothing to do with knitting. Just wanted to let you know. Hey lovelies, it is very much time for a little update on this project. She is done and she's looking stunning. Since we last talked, I finished her up. I went out with Zach to take some pictures. I have been working on the pattern, like writing it down and making it more personalized. So uh, yeah, we are really far in the process. I'm sorry, like I have totally, honestly forgot about this video. <laughs> sorry. I don't know what happened. Traveling happened and stuff, so yeah, but we're back. Um, yesterday, I found a test knitter. Freya, one of my followers, is test knitting the Sophia off shoulder. Fun fact, let me just tell you the story behind the sweater's name. By the way, if you don't know, I name all my patterns after my friends. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I don't have any more friends to name them after. 
we will figure it out at that time. <laughs> so far it's fine. So the story is, I went to an event and I sat next to a girl named Sophia and she told me that she had been knitting before but kind of got out of the knitting grind. Um, but then we just talked during the event, it was really cozy and then I inspired her to start knitting again and we kind of like texted back and forth and we found a little knitting date and it was so cozy and yeah I was just like because she talked about she mentioned the pink one that I have of this style um, and that she really liked it and I was like I should just name it after her so yeah that's why it's called Sophia that is the update for now I just have to wait for Freya to finish the sweater and give me some feedback and then I have to if there is anything that I need to redo I will update it and then it's good to go just need to upload it if anything happens I will update you guys but for now we're gonna wait for Freya to give me some feedback I guess from making this video it's kind of hard to include you guys in everything so it's more kind of like an update and then me telling you what happened so basically we started this journey in the summertime end of summer i actually have no idea when we started but it's basically today it's the 6th of november and so it has i think in total this has been taking like three and a half months ish but guys Freya came back strong with the corrections honestly i don't know if she's gonna watch this video but thank you so much to Freya because she has been amazing yeah the whole like process has been so easy we're done i am sitting in sophia off shoulder there's still some things that we need to do we need to actually upload it and like release it and then on top of that i also need to post some content on my socials so that you are aware of it being out and yeah so i just wanted to bring you guys along on the last steps i guess we're gonna finish this off i think we're gonna upload the patterns first and then we're gonna look at the content so we're gonna go into squarespace i don't think i've told you that but my website is made through squarespace because it's because helgi told me to do it if you know who Birta is it's her boyfriend and he told me to do it in squarespace and i listened to him so i've done it in squarespace and it's been really easy and a really nice process i can definitely recommend squarespace if you want to make a website let me show you what i do here is the website from the editing perspective i guess you can call it so i'm gonna go to the patterns and these are all the ones that are currently there and then here we have the sophia of shoulder in english and sophia of shoulder in danish i've already uploaded and done all of this let's go in all we need to do is just publish and now it's up do the same thing with this one publish and then the danish version so it's always kind of like a <gasps> And then you upload it and you're like, oh, but no one knows. <laughs> so now we're basically going to the front page because a new thing that I've started with, as you can maybe tell, is kind of like announcing the new arrival on the like front page because I think it's fun to like change it up sometimes. There we go. Now that we are done with the website stuff, we're gonna go on the phone and we're gonna upload content. Excuse me? Where's your top from? Wow, thank you. Share. This is always so nerve-wracking and then now I have to post stuff on my stories. Now all there's left is for you to go crazy with this pattern and I cannot wait to see your creations um but yeah uh thank you for watching this video and thank you to everyone who's purchasing my patterns it means the world to me um yeah i'm just so glad that you guys are interested in it and that you obviously like it so uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart 
Let me know if you like this kind of video. Kisses. See you. Bye.